of the series. Fortunate. Market air opening up from the roll of that, but a thick edge beats Gartelani at short third and driven away again, too full. And unfortunately, with everyone up on the offside, you simply can't. Well, that could be a chance there for Simmy. And it's well pouched as well. And Zaza is going to have to get first two deliveries, but gets it when it counts there. Zaza. Oh, that's a little feather behind. And this wicket for Ireland. They've gotten two in that second though. It's gone for four. The two Afghanistan openers are gone. It's a lovely shot. Put it in, Zaza. He goes short, and that could be a chance. It's a fantastic catch from Barry McCarthy, I believe, at short third. Momentum. Comes down the wicket. Chance at long. Uh, just clears the man. The pressure was building in seven. Crunches up his cricket shot. Huge slog sweep. For that one. Full again. Slap through cover. This is for a and a quick bumper it takes the glass. Well taken catch. And the gamble has worked. Has worked. Master stroke bit of captaincy there. Last couple of months. And Mohammed Nabi has gone first ball. That is a to, to potentially grab. If that one's drift. Just Little's not going to chase that one down, and it goes all the way for four. Two. Little as one, that's cut away, backward the point, and gets himself a boundary, he moves into the four. That being said, Short, that... and it's up in the air, doesn't carry the deep mid-wicket. Ireland, earlier on today, Ireland won the toss, they elected to field first. Innings and, and really set to launch, so we have a look at the Ireland bowling. A lovely start from Paul Sterling, cut away, it's exactly the way Ireland would have wanted yeah. to know. And that's different, and that's been out of the ground by Andy Balberni, and that will be a relief. The boundaries, and you're well ahead of the game. Big appeal. Give them. They have to depart. Majib is pumped up. Afghanistan are pumped up. They have that. Slog sweep up in the air. It's enough. Paul Sterling, what a strike. Right when Majib comes in. It's a slog sweep. Heading deep over. What a shot from Lorcan Tucker. He joins the party. Certainly not take it too deep as Paul Sterling gets deep in the crease, pulls it. It's caught by deep mid deep mid wicket. Has well, it maybe does so. Paul Sterling was trying to just use all his muscle there to get that. Gets a full toss and plays it over extra. Yes, it is. It's a good shot from first sweep on the cards. It's a slog sweep. He's mistimed it. Short third man. Lorcan Tucker has to depart. Tucker pulls away, pulls firmly, find the gap, and enormous celebrations to a rust. And he's got it over the top, and he's won it from both Dockrell and Tector. They're the two men moved over the line, and they've done so yet again, just like the first T20 series. Fine, you can see what it means to both those players and everyone in the team tent to our right here. It feels like a deserved victory for Ireland. It feels like something that has been coming all summer and they've managed to finally put things all together here and beat Afghanistan on their own patch. Three wins. A good start, a solid start. And Lorcan Tucker kept that momentum. And then it was the Iceman, George Dockrell, to finish the inning. Well, the Afghanistan bowlers in the fronts to play with in this truncated seven over second innings only defending 56 was always going to be hard they did so with great credit and it's been a great series here at Stormont going five going into the fifth game 2-2 unfortunately the rain probably robbed us of what